Lazarus lying at the door, and the rich man ignoring him, walking by. Several weeks ago, I was exiting Interstate 27 and uh, getting ready to get on the Marshall Sharp Freeway. And several times I have seen somebody there asking for assistance. And I was so relieved that the light turned green so that I didn't have to stop in my collar and face the man. I don't share that with pride. Several years ago, when I was in my last assignment, there was a group of um, younger men than myself, men in their 30s and early 40s, fathers of families, that I gathered together as, I called it my guys group. And one night, about a year and a half ago, might have even been a year ago when we had this reading, but I think maybe it was even two years ago, I asked them, what do they do when they drive up to somebody? And of course, in Dallas, on the street corners, it's much more common to have that taking place. What do you do? And I was astonished at the answers that the young man gave. Well, first of all, I have the kids look the person in the eye. First thing I won't do. Then sometimes we say good morning, good afternoon, I'm sorry we can't help you. But we engage them. We encounter them, Pope Francis would say. And we treat, we, we greet them. Something I maybe would not do. And sometimes, if they look worthy, we give them a little something. Something I probably would not do. But as the discussion went on, together we came up with an idea that I later shared with the staff of my parish and a number of them started doing it. I'm reluctant to give cash for fear of promoting or enabling an addiction or a situation that need not be enabled. So I started carrying around in the back seat of my car a bag full of power bars or granola bars or things like that. And boy, when I would pass that out and would look the person in the eye, there was, there were, there was a smile of gratitude. One time as I rounded the corner, I actually saw the woman opening the package and starting to eat the bar. And I had a sense of having done something good. It's a conundrum. It's a difficult situation. About 10 days ago, Pope Francis confronted the issue, and he said, encounter them. Look them in the eye. Speak a kind word to them. And give them a little something. And if they're going to go off and buy beer and wine, maybe it's the only pleasure they have in their life. Maybe that's a bit simplistic. But I simply invite each one of us to ponder the needy, the realities of addiction and brokenness and societal problems that we face, and to be discerning, and to do what we feel in our heart of hearts is the right thing to do. I'm not saying give that man at 27 in Marsha Sharp five dollars, but at least we could look him in the eye. At least we could say, Hello, brother, I hope things get better for you. Or maybe we do give him something, even if he's going to buy a bottle of beer with him. In this season, the Lord invites us to encounter, to give, and to discern. After all, we don't deserve what he gives us. Anymore.